find the dimension of vector space represented by W. In this W, elements are 2 cross 2 matrices. A, B, C, D are constituents of this matrix of 2 by 2 over C. This is over C. And the independent conditions are B equals to C and trace of A equals to 0. Because we have to find dimension over the field C. Keep remember over the field C. If problem says over the field R, then dimension of this vector space is different. So we have to find dimension of this vector space W over C. How could we find dimension? Because a, B, C, D are four constituents. So, four minus linearly independent conditions. So, four minus there are two linearly independent conditions equals to two. Option B is correct. Let A be a four cross four matrix so over set of real number and this is invertible matrix. If this matrix is invertible, then rank of this matrix A equals to 4. Also, you can say in terms of determinant, determinant of A not equals to 0. Determ determinant you can write in terms of eigenvalue as product of eigenvalues. So, simply we can say product of eigenvalue is also non-zero. So, 0 eigenvalue is not possible. Option B is right and we have to seek not true. 0 is an eigenvalue of A. 0 is not any not possible eigenvalue because determinant is non-zero. So all eigenvalues are non-zero. So 0 is an eigenvalue. This is statement is wrong. I already said that rank of A is 4. This statement is true. Dimension of null space of A is 0. By rank nullity theorem, because rank is 4, so nullity of this matrix A equals to 0. And nullity tells you dimension of null space. So, option C is true statement. And for every B in R4, the system of equation AX equals to B has unique solution. Why unique solution? Because rank of A equals to rank of augmented matrix equals to number of variable because rank is 4. So rank of A and rank of an extra column added to the coefficient matrix. What is augmented matrix? Augmented matrix is nothing but an additional column added to the coefficient matrix. So there is no change. When we apply elementary row operation over augmented matrix, then this matrix have same pivot as matrix or coefficient matrix have. So 4 equals to rank of A equals to rank of augmented matrix equals to number of variable. This condition tells you system has unique solution. So this uh, last statement is also true. So Correct key for this problem is option B. In this problem, A is a matrix of size 4 cross 4 over complex field. And this matrix A satisfy A cube equals to minus identity. Then we have to tell which statement is not correct. Not correct means false statement we have to identify. Because A satisfies this equation, so you can consider this is a polynomial in terms of x. So x cube equals to minus 1 or I can write x cube plus 1 equals to a 0. This is annihilating polynomial. You can say annihilating polynomial and after factorization of this polynomial because a cube plus b cube identity I'm going to apply. So x plus 1, x square plus 1 minus x equals to 0. So x equals to minus 1. This is one root and 
टू रूट फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस वन माइनस एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो और सिंपली आई कैन राइट एक्स स्क्वेयर माइनस एक्स प्लस वन इक्वल टू जीरो बाई क्वाड्रेटरिक फॉर्मूला माइनस ऑफ माइनस वन प्लस माइनस अंडर रूट माइनस वन स्क्वेयर माइनस फोर ए सी सो फोर ए सी अपॉन टू सो बाय दिस दिस इज नथिंग बट डिस्क्रिमिनेंट ऑफ दिस क्वाड्रेटिक फॉर्मूला सो डिस्क्रिमिनेंट इज टेलिंग अबाउट two other roots are complex one is conjugate to other means uh, this uh, matrix a have three roots one of them is uh, real and other two are complex so this cannot be diagonalizable over r roots are distinct Re keep remember roots are distinct but roots not belonging the field belonging to the field of complex so matrix a is diagonalizable over c this is statement is true but a is diagonalizable over r this is false and all three roots uh, are non zero so a is non singular and option a is also true we have to find no true no true means false so option c will be right key a linear transformation t on a complex vector space v has a characteristic polynomial this is characteristic polynomial and uh, this is minim minimal polynomial and we have to tell which statement is not true which statement is not true we have to seek as characteristic polynomial is x minus 2 cube x minus 8 square so sum of powers sum of powers from characteristic polynomial is 5 that's why matrix representation of this linear transformation is of size 5 means dimension of v dimension of v it means dimension of domain is 5 this is statement is true this is statement true but we are seeking not true jordan form is uniquely determined by the given information this statement is also true because we have characteristic polynomial as well as minimal polynomial so we can uniquely determine jordan forms this statement is again true there are exactly two jordan blocks in the jordan decomposition of t because there are only two eigen values one is correspond to factor x minus 2 and second is correspond to factor x minus 8 so in jordan representation or jordan form there will be two exactly two jordan block in the jordan decomposition of t this statement is again true eigen values of t are 0 to 8 this statement is false and reason is roots of characteristic polynomial roots of characteristic polynomial is 2 and 8 only none other than 2 and 8 only 0 is not root but this is saying 0 is also eigen value that's why this statement becomes false and it will become our right key let p denotes a prime and g denotes the group gl2 z over pz which is a group of two cross two matrices with entries from the group z over pz or quotient group of integer what is the order of g if gln fq is given to you this is filled then number of elements in gln fq will equals to q raised to the power n minus 1 or you can write q raised to the power 0 q raised to the power n minus q raised to the power 1 q raised to the power n minus q raised to the power 2 and so on up to q raised to the power n minus q raised to the power n minus 1 so this is general formula when this is g 
एल टू ओवर जेड पी जेड पी इज आइसोमोरफिक टू जेड ओवर पी जेड सो ऑर्डर ऑफ दिस ग्रुप विल इक्वल्स टू बिकॉज नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट इन जेड पी इज पी सो पी रेस्ट टू द पावर टू टू इज साइज ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स माइनस पी रेस्ट टू द पावर जीरो और यू कैन राइट डायरेक्टली वन पी स्क्वेयर माइनस पी दिस वन यू कैन राइट पी स्क्वेयर माइनस वन इन टू पी इन टू पी माइनस वन यू टूक पी एज अ कॉमन नाउ फैक्टराइज दिस वन सो पी प्लस वन पी माइनस वन पी एंड पी माइनस वन पी माइनस वन पी माइनस वन कंबाइन दिस टू यू कैन राइट वन माइनस पी होल स्क्वेयर टेक पी इन फर्स्ट एंड इन लास्ट पी प्लस वन दिस वन इज मैचिंग फ्रॉम ऑप्शन ए सो इट विल बी राइट की इट इज गिवेन दैट जी इज अ ग्रुप एंड इट इज सिंपल ग्रुप ऑफ ऑर्डर टू हंड्रेड सिक्सटीन यू कैन राइट टू हंड्रेड सिक्सटीन इन प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन फॉर्मेट टू क्यू टू क्यूब इन टू थ्री क्यूब एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड नंबर ऑफ सब ग्रुप ऑफ ऑर्डर ट्वेंटी सेवन बाय साइलो फर्स्ट थेरम बिकॉज टू क्यूब डिवाइड्स ऑर्डर ऑफ जी एंड थ्री क्यूब इज ऑल्सो डिवाइड्स ऑर्डर ऑफ जी यू शुड टेक मैक्सिम पावर ऑफ द प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन सो बाय साइलो फर्स्ट थेरम देर विल एग्जिस्ट अ टू साइलो सब ग्रुप ऑफ ऑर्डर एट मीन्स टू क्यूब एंड थ्री साइलो सब ग्रुप ऑफ ऑर्डर ट्वेंटी सेवन वी आर सीकिंग ऑफ वी आर सीकिंग सब ग्रुप ऑफ ऑर्डर ट्वेंटी सेवन सो देर विल बी थ्री साइलो सब ग्रुप इफ इट इज एग्जिस्ट द नंबर ऑफ थ्री साइलो सब ग्रुप यू कैन काउंट बाय वन प्लस थ्री के वन वन प्लस थ्री के डिवाइड्स ऑर्डर ऑफ जी बिकॉज वन प्लस थ्री के कैन नॉट डिवाइड मल्टीपल्स ऑफ थ्री सो इट विल डिवाइड टू क्यू एंड दिस विल बी ट्रू फॉर के इक्वल्स टू जीरो एंड के इक्वल्स टू वन वेन वी पुट के इक्वल्स टू जीरो देन एन थ्री इक्वल्स टू वन एंड वेन के इक्वल्स टू वन एन थ्री इक्वल्स टू फोर एन थ्री इक्वल्स टू वन इन दिस केस सब ग्रुप विल बी नॉर्मल बिकॉज दिस इज यूनिक सब ग्रुप सब ग्रुप ऑफ ऑर्डर ट्वेंटी सेवन विल बी नॉर्मल एंड इट इज क्लियरली सेट दैट ग्रुप इज सिंपल सो नो नॉर्मल सब ग्रुप एग्जिस्ट सो दिस केस इज नॉट पॉसिबल नंबर ऑफ सब ग्रुप ऑफ ऑर्डर ट्वेंटी सेवन विल बी फोर ऑप्शन डी इज राइट वन Which of the following series converges? We have to test convergence of these four series. So, if a series converges, then limit of its u n equals to zero. But converse is not true. You have many examples. For example, you can take series summation one upon n. Limit of u n is zero, but series is not convergent. Means a divergent because of this is series of positive uh, term series or positive term. So it is either converse or diverge. oscillating behavior not exist so check option a you can take e raised to the power n common from denominator we have 1 plus n upon e raised to the power n e raised to the power n going to faster increase faster than n increase faster than n then n upon e raised to the power n tends to a zero e raised to the power n cancel out So we have one upon one plus zero. Limit is not equals to zero. If limit is not equals to zero, we can say A is not a converging sequence. Now come to the option B. You can take n raised to the power n, or you can take n common from numerator. Then we have one plus one upon n raised to the power n upon n raised to the power n into n square this one cancel out you can consider vn as 1 upon n square consider one such p series which makes you un upon vn 
limit of un upon vn is a finite number and behavior of un and vn alike so if we consider vn equals uh, equals to 1 upon n square then un upon vn limit of this one will equals to 1 means non zero and finite and vn is convergent by p series test so option b is right one option b is convergent uh, convergent series but uh, we are checking option c and d also similarly you can take n common from numerator so one for c part you can take n common from numerator we have n raised to the power n upon n this one cancel out and if you consider vn as 1 upon n so this is a divergent i already explained you this series is divergent <coughs> but limit of un upon vn is finite one which is non-zero and finite now check option d if you take cube cube root of n or n raised to the power one upon three if you take common this one then what we have we have cube root of 1 plus 1 upon n minus 1 upon n take numerator uh, take common from denominator 1 plus 1 upon n this one cancel out and you can consider this one as vn vn equals to 1 upon n raised to the power minus 1 upon 3 this is your vn and the limit of un upon vn equal, uh, equals to finite means 1 1 non zero and finite but vn is divergent by p series test because of value of p is less than 1 for convergent series uh, p series tells you if p greater than 1 then series is convergent uh, if uh, less than 1 then it is divergent so option d is not a converging right one option is option b area of surf surface obtained by rotating a given curve y equals to yx this is a curve and x is coming from closed interval ab then area of surface about the axis of abscissa axis of abscissa you you can consider x axis and for x axis we have the formula 2 pi integral from a to b y within square root 1 plus f dash x square dx this is the formula and this is given in option a so it will be right key